Hello friends, in this video we will be discussing about cell mediated toxicity. It is an immune response mediated by our immune system without using any antibodies. So here CT cells that cytotoxic cells are used to eliminate the target. So here we see immune response mediated by cytotoxic T cell that is also called CD8 positive cell. Second point here is that it eliminates target that is infected cell by apoptosis. That is here we do not see any use of chemokinins or any immune chemicals. Third point here is it involves cascade that series of reactions where the inactive form gets activated into active form. So cytotoxic T cell mediated toxicity has two pathways that is FAS pathway that is FAS pa pathway second one is perforin granizyme pathway and here we will be discussing about FAS pathway. Now we will see the components of FAS pathway or FAS pathway which are going to interact with each other. First one is FAS ligand or FASL that is present on cytotoxic T cell or CD8 positive cell. It spans the membrane of this T cell. Another one is that's FAS receptor that is also called death domain or death receptor. It is present on infected cell that is going to be eliminated. Third one is FADD adapter that is present on infected cell that is inside the membrane. And to this FAD receptor we have DED that is death affected domain that is present on this FAD receptor. And fifth one is cascade of caspases that are going to get activated by these interactions. And sixth one is apoptosis or apoptotic substrates that are going to get activated and ultimately we will see the programmed cell death that is apoptosis. So here in the diagram we can see we have the cytotoxic T cell that has FASL that is FAS ligand on its membrane that has a capability to interact with FAS receptor or death receptor of the infected cell. On the other hand we draw here the infected cell it has got this death receptor that will interact with FAS ligand and to it we have FADD adapter bound to it. When there is interaction between FAS ligand and FAS receptor we call it death inducing signaling complex or simply disc. Then to this death inducing signaling complex we have another component called it DED that is death affected domain which is attached to the FAD and that has a capability to take in the flies that is fat like interleukin 1 beta converting enzyme this flies along with all the complexes formed converts pro caspase 8 to its active form that is caspase 8 from where the cascade starts. After the conversion of pro caspase 8 to caspase 8 that is its active form. This active form of caspase 8 goes to the pro caspase 3 and converts this to active form that is caspase 3. And this caspase 3 in turn activates apoptotic substrates or apoptosis substrates in the form of caspase activated DNAs and other nuclear lamina and other enzymes that are able to degrade the cell and we get the active apoptotic effectors in the form of DNAs and this DNAs gets into the cell gets into the nucleus and the cell gets programmed cell that that's apoptose in the form of blood being and other DNAs that's DNAs degraded by this enzyme and we say it's the death of cell by its own components that's by apoptosis guys thanks for watching the video do share this video and do not forget to subscribe this channel